You guys need to stop spending your tokens on pirate tokens in this game. You know when you get those chests from random islands that have your choice of coins? Now you may have done what I did, uh, what I thought at least in the beginning, which was you go through these and then eventually you find a merchant in front of every dock who will let you trade these for pirate coins. And you look through it and you're like, oh wow, the sun coins give me 20 pirate coins each. And then, you know, you feel kind of smart and you think, okay, I'll pick the sun coins and then I'll get the pirate coins, I'll get the most. But then I stopped and I was like, wait a minute. Uh, surely these coins are used for something. Otherwise they would just give me pirate coins, right? And that is in fact right. Um, every one of these coins has a use. So you do not want to convert these into pirate coins. There are other ways to get pirate coins. There are dailies you can get pirate coins. Uh, you don't want to convert these into pirate coins unless it's like an emergency or you're in a really, really big hurry. Because uh, some of these are really important. Like the Guinea coins are insanely good. They're used in tons of different places for tons of different things. And then uh, just the other day, I found finally where you exchange Septrum coins, which is Starlight Isle, which I'll show you in a sec. And then uh, I have yet to find Arct Arct uh, Arcturus. Tur oh my god, I can't say the word. The other coin, the ancient coin and the sun coin, I have yet to find those exchanges. And if you are watching this and you have found the quest chain or wherever to get the different exchanges for all these coins, definitely comment because I want to make a compilation video that has all the exchanges listed so we can all go to them. I just have yet to find them. I'm looking every day and it's just I've only found one so far and it was locked behind a, one of the most obnoxiously long, annoying quest chains I've ever done in my life on this game for random islands. But anyway, uh... Stop trading these. It's it's a total noob trap. It is a total, total noob trap. Uh, you definitely want to hold on to these until you find a good use for them. Even right now, I don't even have enough coins to get everything I would want with them, and I haven't exchanged any for pirate coins yet. And I don't know that, that there might be enough if I go through all the islands. There probably will be, but I'd have to go through a lot more islands to get a lot more of these chests or to get everything. I mean, just these Septrum's coins to 100% everything that I could get with Septrum coins, which were um, like crewmates or whatever, like epic crewmates. I think I need like 10,000 or something, 12,000, maybe it was 9,000 uh, Septrum coins alone. So if once I find the other exchanges, in order to get like a 100% of everything you can get, I don't know that there's going to be enough of these chests. Now, the Septrum coins in particular, you can actually exchange those so far. There might be another exchange. I'm, I'm hoping there is actually. But in the Sea of Guinea, there is Starlight Isle. And this one is absolute hell. You'll go on this island. There's a girl. You do these quests where you find uh, souls all over the world. The quest takes like at least an hour. It's really obnoxiously long. And then once you're done, up at the top of the obnoxiously tall tower on that island, there's this guy. And you'll talk to him and not only does he have the song Starlight, which is pretty cool, and Guinea's coins, like I talked about Guinea's coins, Masterpiece Guinea coins, he also has uh, these epic crewmates. Uh, one in particular, the sailing speed, plus 1.3 knots, really nice. Uh, each one's 2,000, so in total this one's, and then 1,000 for the green one, so in total that's actually only 7,000, but you need 7,000 Septrums coins. Uh, I, I don't even have enough for 7,000. I need more chests if I want to get 7,000. That's just to 100% this, just to be able to get these guys. So you can see where this is going. Like, these coins are extremely important, guys. It's an abs actual trap. The pirates are scamming you guys. You don't give these to the pirates. The pirates know they're worth a lot, and that's why they scam you. And they want to give you their crappy pirate coins through these. So at this point, I feel like my point has been made. Do not trade those for pirate coins. They are way too valuable. I'm just trying to help you guys out. Uh, it's definitely a trap getting rid of those. And if you guys know where the other exchanges are, let me know in the comments. I, like I said, I really want to make a video that has a collection of all of those things uh, in a single video. Where to get every single one of those exchanges unlocked in, in one video. So that way we know where to go with these coins and we'll know when we're done with them and then we can finally give the excess over for pirate coins because you know once you get everything then yeah you'll want to change over pirate coins unless there's one that's repeatable i mean maybe one will have like a daily thing that uses sun tokens or something that we just you know will never want pirate coins it just depends on what's out there now i know you guys have all been different places not everybody's done everything right some of you gone to some islands some of you gone to others some of you gone different places so any of you guys if you can remember where any of these things are to exchange those coins let me know. I, it would help me a lot. It would help everybody a lot because I'll be able to make the video then and help everybody out. Also, if you uh, enjoyed this video, if you like Lost Art Guides, if you want more Lost Art content, definitely subscribe to this YouTube. Right now in February of 2022, I am posting Lost Art content like three to ten times a day. 
I can only alert subs three times, but sometimes, a lot of times I'm posting small little tiny guides in between the sub alert ones, so you can even just scan the videos on this YouTube every day to try to see if there's anything new on here that didn't get sub alerted, but yeah, if that sounds interesting, definitely subscribe. That's what I'm into right now. But hopefully this helped you out. Hopefully you'll stop you know, throwing away your valuable coins or pirate coins. Hopefully you haven't already thrown them all away, and if so, I was able to help you out. And now you know that those coins are actually extremely important in Lost Ark.